Hey guys, it's JP Dillon. I thought I would show you a picture of my favorite set. Uh, you've seen this in a lot of my movies, but uh, you haven't really seen it running in person. This is a 1962 uh, RCA, unknown model number, the tag's missing. It uses the CTC-11J chassis. And it's got a 21, original 21 FBP-22 in it. That uh, is a getting a little tired, unfortunately. I've got a spare that I don't really want to use unless I have to. This is a really cool set. It's an all-steel cabinet and a nice black lacquer finish. It's got a little bit of wear on it, but otherwise it's good. It's got the lighted dial. User controls here at the bottom. They always drop a few dollars at blackjack. Today they cancel. It's got a holographic color emblem, which changes colors depending on which direction you are looking at it. How cool is that? Yeah, it looks really nice. I fire it up every once in a while just to watch some TV on it. In fact, I'm going to close the uh, blinds here a little bit. We can get a little bit better view of the picture. We'll see if we can go to something a little bit brighter colors. A 49 year old television set. I have a cropped format, which is why you're seeing the vertical retrace up there, or the uh, vertical blanking rather. Have you put it in normal letterbox? Now it still shows up. Nice bright colors, good flesh tones. That's why people love these sets. Let's see. The bar is a camera shutter anomaly, not the TV set. You also notice that there's a slight underscan of the right side of the screen. That's because I'm running it at a little bit under voltage. The line voltage here is very high. It's about 128 volts, uh, which would be very harmful to this set. So I have it on an auto former here, and I'm running it at 109 volts. So I could probably adjust the screen resistor and get a little bit more width out of the horizontal output tube. But then the flyback would run hotter too, so... It's not in constant use. I fire it up every once in a while. You can see it's just got a wonderful picture. So yeah, there we go. Never a plane flies overhead, I get crummy reception. But uh, there you go, that's a 1962 RCA with a CTC-11 chassis. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to comment, ask questions, etc. Have a great day. I'll turn it off just to show you what it looks like when you power down.